Hello, I'm so glad to come through to your doors as we reflect on the Word of God today. My name is Tunde Dada, a pastor in the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Kingdom Builders family in Luton. Today we are reflecting from the Open Heavens devotional written by Pastor E.A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And we're looking at the topic, depression is deadly. Depression is deadly. Our text for today is taken from Philippians, the fourth chapter. I read from the fourth verse to the seventh verse. Philippians chapter four, from verse four through to verse seven. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say, rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. A memory verse, Proverbs chapter 15, verse 13. A merry heart maketh a cheerful countenance, but by sorrow of the heart, the spirit is broken. A reflection. Do you know that depression is deadly? And I pray for you that is experiencing sorrow or anyone experiencing sorrow, anyone experiencing depression, guilt, or anything that can cause the heart to sad, that you will experience the joy of the Lord today in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. I, you know what? I love the passage, the Bible passage that says, a cheerful heart is good medicine. But a crushed spirit dries up the bones. That's taken from Proverbs 17, verse 22. The Bible also says in Nehemiah chapter 8, verse 10. Nehemiah said, Go and enjoy choice food and sweet drinks, and send some to those who have nothing prepared. This day is holy to our Lord. Do not grieve, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Now, focusing on Nehemiah and the work he did for the Lord, he had every reason to be sad. Let's start with his journey and see how we can relate it to our lives. When he heard about the ruin of the city of his forefathers, he became very sad and declared a time of fasting and did something positive. God supplied the needs for the work and he got the permission to go and carry out the work. But the work was not easy back at home. There was opposition from every, I mean, from very strong quarters. He knew that if he focused on the opposition, he was not going to get anywhere. And so what did he do? He knew that the pressure was going to make the job more difficult with the risk of dissipate, uh, to, to dissipate their energy and strength and render the work more difficult. And so what did he do? He encouraged the people to remain committed to regenerate in their souls and rely on the Lord for strength. Are you facing some difficult assignments at the moment and you are beginning to feel very depressed about what is happening to you? You need to depend totally on the Lord and believe that with God, nothing shall be impossible. If you look back at all the battles that the Lord has won for you, including what it took him to save your life from perdition, you will know that there is no battle that he cannot win for you. Let that be at the back of your mind as you face what is challenging you today and know that it will surely come to pass. Therefore, rejoice in the Lord. And I say again, rejoice. My prayer for you today is that the Lord will deliver you from every satanic depression in the name of Jesus. Have a wonderful day. Until I see you again, shalom, peace, and glory. Bye for now.